Alright, so in the last video we looked at applying a molar technique to your funk backbeat and to samba. I want to see this video is kind of just alongside that, uh, not in terms of hand-to-hand -hand playing, but just applying molar technique to a different groove. We're going to look at a masha pop sort of groove. It's kind of like an up-tempo funk in a way, but up-tempo pop, it's also useful for playing styles like drum and bass in a bateria. You'll get samba schools in Rio who play pretty much samba all the time, but you get blockos all around the world, but particularly we're thinking about Rio star blockos, who play samba alongside funk and pop and all sorts of other genres, other traditional Brazilian stuff, as well as this kind of poppy western stuff. This groove, we can call a marcha pop, is one of those ideas. It sounds like this. So this is kind of like a bonus video for you now, Marsha pop groove. Not playing hand to hand, not going right left, right left, right left, right left. Something else for you to try using molar technique. Constant molar technique in your right hand. Starting on beat one with a loud sound. But then after that, it's the and two that we were doing in funk. So we have this time loud, soft, loud. In funk we had soft, soft. But the technique is the same after the first beat, right? Because we have one soft, loud, soft, loud. Break at the wrist for the free note before the loud note. Soft, loud, soft, loud. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three. letting that soft note happen for free with this break. So we're really only thinking about the loud ones. Kind of already doing it there. And just let it drop. And you get that three note. That's what the right hand's doing. Driving strong on every beat. One, two, three, four. Free note in between on the ands. Now, unlike the hand-to-hand -hand ones that we had in funk and samba, we're not putting a left hand in between everyone. If we did, it would be this. It's actually very close to samba. Yeah, if we put an accent in the left hand, then it's samba. And swing it, then it's samba. Uh, we're not doing that here with Masha Pop. We are only bringing the left hand in on beats two and four. And it's going to come at the same time as the right hand on beat two and four. So. So we have accent, ghost note, or soft note, accent, soft note, accent, soft note, accent, soft note, accent, soft note. Accent, soft note in the right hand, one and two and. But then we've got kind of an extra accent on beat two and four, that's our backbeat, like we did in our funk backbeat. One and two and three and four and. Still strong on beat one and three here, not this. One and two and three and. Not that, like we did in funk. Strong on one and three. One and two Extra accent on beat two and four. To be really nice about this, we want our left hand to come down just a fraction before our right hand, which makes a flam. I want to talk more about the flams and other techniques in another video, but you can try it now. Instead of being exactly the same time as the right hand, it's slightly before. One way you can do that is lift your right hand a little bit higher so that your left hand comes down earlier, but I don't find that particularly helpful when we're actually playing the groove. I just think of it being the same time, but just push it a little bit earlier. So you get that fatter sound on beat two and four. We 
you do it too much, it sounds messy. Too, too, too much of a gap. Right next to each other. Yeah. That's all we need to say about Masha Pop. Molo in the right hand, Flam on two and four with the left hand.